Okay. We've got the morale so far. The Stormlander army has really helped. If we didn't have the Stormlands there, who knows how that battle might have turned out. Yes. Thank you, Rain. I didn't... I was hoping I could trust you. I like the Reigns. I was hoping I could trust him. Uh, Tymond. Thank you. We now know we can trust you. So there we go. We defeated their army. And now we'll go destroy them. Get some more points. Because obviously they're capturing a lot of places. Really this battle will come down to me or my brother hopefully fighting uh, a king in the north. If he can defeat him in battle. Aha. And it looks like there's something to go for me when my morale is down. 24th of June. I'm 24th of August, sorry. Can I escape? We have to get away. My morale is low. Uh, 24th, nope, 28th. It looks as though I can't escape this. Yeah. It isn't like I'm going to be able to escape. Damn. That's not good. Ha. Huh. What do I do? Where do I have armies? Oh, that's probably a... Uh, huh. Vassals. Let's look at the vassals. So what else do we have then? We have the Septon. Has a... Uh, ooh. Could provide 58 troops. Lovely. Uh, 1,000. And they will find me a good amount of troops. Aha. High Lord of Macy's Hook. Okay, that could make a difference. Raise your army. Okay, that's 302. Could provide at most. Okay. So that's actually how many they can provide. That is great. 6%. Jesus. They really don't like me. Uh, Dragonstone. We'd have to get ships prepared and stuff. It's not worth it right now. Okay, yeah. Basically, no one can give me many troops. 2,000. Lordship of the Whispers. Uh. I think it was 200. North Crackler Point. They, that won't be enough. They'll have to go through the North Armies, the Summer Island Army. What's the point? Just get rid of you. For now. <sighs> can these guys take on that army? With their morale low, I don't think they can. What happened to the other person? Oh, that guy died, I guess. So let's go with Baylor. All of them have dragons. We do have a chance. Let me check again. Uh, 28th. 28th, 27th. Ah. Uh, and the seconds. So that's going to take too long. Okay. So they've got me in a heart. I, I have to fight them. I have to fight them. We don't even get to fight the king himself. I want to face the Stark man himself. Not his... Lackeys. Our morale was up as well, so that's good. Hopefully that will give us just give us an advantage. We're losing lots of men though. Their morale is going down. Ah, oh, we lost a lot of men again. Okay. So we can win the battles and we've lowered their men by a lot. New master at arms. My brother, obviously. Yep, he'll be man at arms. Okay. So we just, we're basically beating this whole army with this small army. Thank you, Baratheons. Thank you. Thank you for actually being useful in this. I mean, the others have been useful. They are attacking the other places, but uh, and at least we now got the Westlands coming. We've won this war, I think. I think this war is ours. North Valeria has taken that. Uh, not much else. We just need to defeat you. Craig and the Great, 56 years old. And look how formidable he is. And his son, Prince Rickon. Ah, he's also a good fighter. He could be put, and he's leading troops as well with his father, it looks like. Yep. Sozhorn. They're both together. I guess that's here. Yep. We can take them on. We'd have to get through the other armies. Let's go to King's Landing. 
Or I could defeat this army, Greensward. Do you know what? Let's go to Greensward. Let's defeat this army. I have enough men I can take on the Starks' other army. All of those armies are up there together might be a bit harder. But so far we've defeated worse. And hopefully the Westerns are coming to help. That's the thing. Okay, another good victory. Basically defeated them at Atterdale. This will basically destroy their army. My brother has done a good job. Ah, that's a rot. Okay, he's only really good at fighting. My son will get you a great fighter. My brother could be a good choice for him. Yeah, my brother. Train my son. You've been very useful to us. Okay. Yes, that army should be gone now. Nope, still alive. Ugh. Okay, this should defeat them. Hopefully. Ah, travelers bring rumours of fire and blood. They say that the dragons live once more and that Matrice now rides Dreamfire into battle. West Valerian. Okay. She's just a lowborn. She's nothing. Dragonfire. Sunglass. Ah, so she's under the sunglass. Probably in Dragonstone. Yeah, she's in Dragonstone. I should probably give Dragonstone to someone. There's a lot of dragon riders in the world still. I thought after the Great War, the Dance of Dragons, we would have lost a lot of the dragons. Okay, here we go. The Westerns are coming. So I just need to defeat this army. Oh, maybe we should go help. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. We want to we want to win this war now. Okay, that's an even battle. So we're going to come and make it uneven. And hopefully we can... Hopefully my brother can kill the Lord of the, the North. The King of the North, the Stark. Damn, the morale is going... The Westerns is losing. We need to help them. Because that's a big battle. Come on, come on, come on. Get there, get there. There we go. Now that's a fair battle. The new reinforcements, hopefully that lifts the morale. And it looks like it has. We came in just in time. Just in time. And now we have our armies. We can now attack them. So the Westerlands is heading to Edgerton. They are going back to So's Horn. So let's follow them. They have less men than I do. Oh. Ooh. Died in battle against Arian Valerian. Awesome. I did say, didn't I? I did say. Hopefully we can fight him and my brother can kill him. And look what's happened. <laughs> Again, the great. Not so great anymore. Are you Stark? I, I like the Starks. I'm just, yeah. This is just roleplay. But not so great now, are you Stark? Now we have King Rickon the Direwolf. Nice name. Nice name. He's also a good fighter. Not as great as his father, but still. But I think that brings this war to an end. It was a hard fought battle. Uh, I did say when it started it could be quite even depending on how my vassals do, and they did not help much. <laughs> they would not help much. A stock worth. Let's finish them off. Let's finish this war off. Got the Summer Islands there being defeated by the Westerlands. Thank you, Reigns. In the end, the Baratheons were the most helpful, I would say. I would say they came at the right time. They did not come when they did. Maybe, oh... Look at that. And his father died in battle against Aegon Targaryen. Aegon Targaryen, actually. Ah. Okay, so Aegon Targaryen kills him. And now we have King Kragen the second. Ah, he's named after his grandfather. But he's just a young six-year-old boy. The regent is a Karstark. Okay. Good choice for, I guess. But this war's over. Where are your men going? So's Horn. The Starks were fools. Look at their dynasty now. It's basically destroyed the whole dynasty. This war. This war has really taken a lot out of them. Though actually as well, it's taken a lot out of me. I am now incapable. 
So I guess I have lost quite a lot. And now it's basically now just cleaning up. And I'm not really going to bother much here. I guess we should head straight for uh, Winterfell. That's the last place to take. <laughs> all in jail. The Starks have all been killed. Is there any brothers? Nope. The male line of Starks is... Wow. Yep, his brothers all dead. Uh, the male line of Starks has been completely destroyed. This has been a horrible loss for the Starks. That is a shame. And like I said, I'm going to head now straight to Winterfell to finish this war off. And I will bring dragons. Dragons will bring fire and blood. Wait, wait, that's that's not my words. <laughs> that's not my words. The colony in Angoria has failed. No longer able to defend or feed its people. The castle settlement now lies in ruins once more. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is this true? Daemon Targaryen. Okay. Are you kidding me? It has. Are you... You bloody Tyrosh. You didn't... Why would you attack that place? That place is completely useless. Ah. That's, that's a thousand gold wasted. A thousand gold wasted. The work my father did. Nettles has died. Causing her dragon, sheep stealer, to fly from a into a rage and establish a lone dragon stone. I really like that dragon. Even though it's ugly. <laughs> okay. Even if it's an ugly dragon. It's unfair to judge. Ah, here we go. Mark the Tyrells are here. Now I know going north I'm going to lose a lot of uh, attrition but we just want to finish this war to be honest. We're going to make an example of them. Ah, so annoying he's incapable at 25 years old. I don't want him to be my regent, really, but I guess I have no choice. 91%. This war is over. I told you. I don't know what it is with me with wars. Whenever it feels like the war has no chance, I tend to win. I don't know why. I usually get quite lucky, lucky in battles, one-on-one. -on -one. I usually end up killing all the opposition leaders. I wonder if you would just give up now, actually. No. And it looks like we met with the Sarsfield men. They were slowly making their way up north. I love the fact they just went up on their own. Uh, we have Lock. Obviously, this used to be... No, it still is Lock. I like that they had the character Lock in the TV show. So in the TV show, we know... If you've been watching it, there's a lock who's not in the books. Interesting choice, replacing someone else. But, I don't know, I feel they could have used him even more, maybe. And I'm not sure why he had to be a lock, because lock's down here, and the Boltons are up here. I don't, I don't know, the Boltons have no control over him. Should have been a Bolton man, maybe. That's what I would have done. Uh, my lead my mission to Dallas has so far been a success. She's made my sister like me. Great. Winterfell is only held by 192 men. There's 5,000 men to guard it. But that won't be enough. That won't be enough. And there we go. Just need to take Winterfell. And this war is over. If it was me, I would use dragons. Just to show them a lesson. We got some more gold. Okay, this war has it's taken its toll on those who uh, betrayed us. To be honest, it really has. They're all in jail. They've all been captured. Just the young boy, Cragen the Second, left, and Winterfell, only stronghold left standing. This king in the north was uh, not here a long time. And there we go. We've captured it. So this war is over. 
And that brings an end to the Great War of the League of Independence against King Valor, the Incapable. <laughs> Luckily, we have Capable Brother and Sister. Um, it's a good job we have them to actually. They really did help a lot. She went to the, the Greyjoys and captured them. Far away, I did not think she would do that. And he led our armies against, you know, impossible victories, really. So that is great for us. The Lord Paramount the Laugh Kraken has been imprisoned. So yeah, we're going to have to decide what to do with these guys. It's going to be a hard choice. My guy is cruel. But he's now incapable. So if my guy had been capable, you know, not incapable, I would be really harsh because he's cruel and proud. So I'm imagine and zealous, you know, he probably doesn't really like the Starks that much because they're old, weird, different gods. And obviously these guys are Rollo and stuff. So I could imagine me being far meaner, but he is unconscious. So Haznak will take control, and he's humble, temperate, and diligent. So he works hard, but he knows what he's doing. So he's probably rethink about it more. Uh, I guess my brother would probably have a say as well, but maybe not. He's honest, temperate, gregarious, envious. So yeah, let's wait and see. The war has been won. The rebels' armies have been crushed by our brave loyalists, Lord Magister Tormo. Tumitus, one of the traitors, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Let him bend the knee. Ha. Huh. Tyrosh. I would like uh, Tyrosh as my... Uh, I would like to take it, just so that I could then, uh, you know, change it from being a free city. I don't like that the fact it's a republic. They will always go for independence. Uh, send him to the dungeon. He will forfeit... Tyrosh. Um, I demand his head as well as his lands. I think we'll take it from him. Also, notorious for the crown, will be taken prisoners for like disappointing his former loyal bannerman. But he's a traitor. Aha, now the question is what to do. Do I take his as well? This is the question. Do I take his as well? Ha. Huh. Do I take it as well? That is, I think I will. Uh, you set the title. Yep, there we go. Okay, so taking them. There wasn't one. The rebels' armies have been crushed. I will let him bend the knee. Like I said, if it was me, if it was Valar, I'd be cruel. But Hadna, Haznak is a bit more diligent. He knows what he's doing. And we should let them go. They'd, be, they'd like that. They were probably coerced into helping them. And as we know, you know... It's not like they put up much of a fight. Ah. Now, the Stark boy. We will let him bend the knee. We may not like the old gods, but he is important to control the North. And he's the last line of the male Starks. So, killing him would basically kill the Starks. The Starks have been good allies in the past. And he's only, a young, he's only six years old. It wasn't his fault. Let him bend the knee. And then lastly, we have Harren, the Laughing Kraken. Now, this one's a bit more interesting. The Greyjoys have always tried to be a bit more annoying. So we're going to send him to the dungeon. Okay, so we've now sent him to the dungeon. Hopefully that all goes well. I'm sure all of you were screaming at your screen saying, No, don't do this, do that, do this and do that. People always tell me I picked the wrong thing. Like I said, I'm wanting to roleplay, want to make it a bit different. Okay. So is that the end of the war? Yeah? Ah, there we go. The wars between the great powers of the Iron Throne have subsided for now. Let's have a look. Yep, everything's back to normal. Thank God. 